One of the things that strikes you as you travel is the commonalities people share. The things that uh, we all hold dear, strangely enough, are universal. The things that divide us are really quite minor and incidental. To give you an example of this sort of universality, wherever you go in the world, the phenomenon of wearing sunglasses inside marks you as a dickhead. And it doesn't matter where you go. I'm here in Hong Kong and it, and it is exactly the same thing. The other thing that we all have in common is the phenomenon of what we call in Australia of punching above your weight. This is the phenomena of very attractive, very young women being on the arm of men who have a head like a deep sea racing mullet and the body of a chicken that's just been plucked before it's roasted. What this means is that markets can't be any different anywhere else. One of, one of the common misconceptions I get or get told or hear or come across is the market's constantly changing, they're evolving, there's always something different, there's always something new. Bollocks, there isn't. There are people in groups and that's it. There is nothing else to markets other than that. I think what happens is that people use the excuse that markets are changing as a rationalisation for their own emotional and psychological inertia. The lies we tell ourselves are much more powerful and potent than the lies other people tell us. So people, in an attempt not to do anything, create these lies. One of which is, markets are always changing, they're always different. They're not. They're always the same, they're always similar, because people are the same everywhere. The only reason you don't get involved with a program like this is simply your own emotional inertia. So we come back to my habit of asking questions. You have to ask yourself why that is. You then have to decide what's going to get you off your own ass to get you moving.